So the next thing I want us guys to do is managing your Google Calendar. As a VA, that is one of the things that uh, your client will require you to do, manage their Google Calendar. So as I said, if you need anything, this is where you come and you'll be able to access anything and everything. So once you click here, just drop down a bit and you'll see Google Calendar. So this is how Google Calendar looks like. And one of the things that your client will tell you to do is how manage their own calendar. So at least now you know how to open a Google Calendar. Let me repeat again. So once you come to, to Google and you have already logged in, you will come here and then select Google Calendar and automatically it's going to open. You can also search calendar.google.com. Should be, be able to also open your calendar. So those are the two ways you can open your calendar. You can either search calendar.google.com or you can come direct to this part and be able to search the Google Calendar. So that is how you open a Google Calendar. So this, um, just click yes, add an event. If you want to create a new event and you're in Google Calendar, you come here and just click create event, task or appointment. If it's an appointment that you have, you put an appointment. If it's an event, let's say, for example, it's a meeting you or probably a task that you're supposed to do, you choose uh, accordingly. So let's say it's an event. I'll come here and add a title. In case, let's say, for example, I want to post this specific YouTube video, post Google Workspace YouTube video, event, appointment, and then it will tell you the dates. I want to post it today is Saturday 14th. Let's say, for example, I want to post it on Tuesday 17th. Um, the time, you just click. I want it to post it in the morning. So let's say 10, 10 in the morning. Um, so that is fine. Uh, if it takes all day, you click all day. If it just takes a specific time, like that. If it's a different time zone, make sure you click the time zone. This is my time zone, so I think that is okay for me. And then does it repeat? Is it something that you'll be doing daily, weekly, monthly, like weekly on Tuesday? I like to post my videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So you can decide whichever day you want. Let's say maybe every day, every day of the week, or maybe you can custom. Let's say, for example, as I said, I like to post mine on Tuesdays. So I'll just remove this and this and that. And maybe I, I, I want to post two videos, maybe on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So it's never ends. It's something that I want to do every single week. This actually can help you to keep you on your toes on task and events that you need to uh, attend or do. And then after I'm, I'm done, I just click done. And just like that, it will be going to give me a reminder that I need to post a video uh, on my YouTube channel every Tuesday and Saturday at exactly 10 in the morning. Um, if you need to tell someone else, maybe you have a videographer or an editor and they're able the you want to send them a reminder that you're supposed to be posting this video in case they have a lot. You can always add a guest, attach their email, and Google is going to then a notification on their side. So that is how you collaborate with someone. If you, let's say, for example, it's a meeting and um, you want to add location, you can always add a location here. If In case you want to schedule a meeting, Google allows you to, Google Calendar allows you to do that automatically. You can click here and it's going to open. Join Google, Google Meeting. You can always come and any details that you want. If the meeting is immediately, you just click like that and automatically it's going to open the, if, if the, the meeting is immediately. But you can always schedule and copy and send the link of the meeting to the person you want to send to. If you need to add any description about this, uh, you can always add here, always remember or kindly remember to post this video, blah, 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 like that. If you need to, atta to attach probably the video or anything, you can always attach. So it is as easy as that. And then after that, you just save. And just like that, it's added on your Google Calendar. So we have already added an event. That is how you add an event, a task or schedule a meeting. Always make sure you turn on your not notification so that... Um, uh, you can be able to hear when Google sends you a reminder. The next task is view your calendar. So when you have added task in your calendar, 
it's going to look like this. But for example, let me show you how mine looks like probably. Depending on the task that you have, this is how your calendar is going to look like. You can always change by color and all that. As you can see, mine, mine ha some has red, some green. It's possible to have yours looking the same, depending or and let's say if I'm, you can see, you can be able to see per day. This is 14. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing my VA work, but I have already finished VA work for this week. So I am doing content creation. In the meantime, you can always see by day. You can, you can always view your calendar per week, see how your week look like. You can see them monthly. It depends on how you want to see. So it depends on how you have scheduled your calendar and you can be able to see as many things as you want. Let's go back to our empty calendar. So if in case you add, want to add anything, you can always come. In case you need to change color, you just click on the task for anything that you have put in your calendar. In case you want to change the color, then you click edit. It will open like this. And then here is the color. You can always come here and change the color. Just like, like that. And or anything else you want to change, you can always change and then save. It will ask you if it's only this event, but if it's a repeating event every single time, it always make sure that you put this and the following events. So even for tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, it will go like that. All events, yeah, it will change the color to that specific color. You see, it has already changed. So you put and you're able to have a, a colorful calendar that you can be able to track whatever thing you want to do. And it's easy to tell like, oh, I'm supposed to be having to, and I'm supposed to be working out when you have separated uh, everything like this. And then sometimes you might be having two things you're supposed to be doing at that specific time. Like for me here, it's, of course, the general thing is content creation and scheduling. But this one, I want to um, probably do something else at this particular time, probably maybe because I have already finished coding videos or editing or scheduling and I want something to do specific let's say for example I want it to be for YouTube that day or for TikTok that day what I will do is I will still come and create a fresh space the same time it will go into schedule again like this so it'll be having this one and like a small thing you can have as many things you, you'll be doing that day as long as you schedule them separately so I hope you have gotten my point. And then so you know how to view calendar. I have shown you guys how to invite, invite people to your calendar events. If I want a collaboration, you can always come, click on the event, invite via link or edit. And I want to collaborate with someone. So when you get here, you can always add a guest by email. Let's say it's myself or someone else just like that when i send i when i save it will go into notify me you can always also uh schedule and copy the link and send to specific people it's quite easy that is how you invite people or you're creating a, an event a fresh make sure you can always add guests maybe it's, it's your client you want them to not to be notified or other people that will be attending this specific meeting, you always add them here. This is where you add your guest by email. So that is done. How to edit and delete an event. Let's say, for example, I don't want this event. So I'll just come and highlight it. You can edit it, you can edit it here or you can always delete an event on this end. I hope you're getting guides. This is where you edit. This is where you, you delete. Click yes. Create and share a new calendar. So to create and share a, a, a calendar, what I'll come is add a calendar, create a new calendar, and then name the calendar that you want. Probably let's say it's content creation calendar. And then the description, posting days, posting schedule, etc. In case you need to change the time zone, maybe the editor you're working with is not from the same time zone, you can always come here and change your time zone accordingly for me it's the east african time gmt plus three so that is what you will do and then from there you create a calendar it will give you a notification telling you calendar creation is in progress we'll just give in time and just like that it's done you can see it here it's already pop popped up on this other end so if if i want to share this specific calendar i'll just click on it 
and then it's going to give you these details you can always share with specific people you see here it's saying share with specific people or groups you click that one and then it's going to give you this pop-up that you can add other people by emails and then once you're done the permission you can always change the permission whether you want to see them them to see all the event in that calendar for example it's your boss's calendar that you're editing if you want to share you can always let them see everything and in case you want them to book probably uh three days they want to see you uh, let's say for example it's your colleagues and you want them to see your boss's calendar when he's free and when he's not you can always change this to free stroke busy days and then they will be able to see slots or where they can book your boss so here is depending on the details that you want to change you can always click here and change accordingly and then after that you just press send automatically to be sent to that specific person's email so we'll come here and click yes and as i said guys i'm going to attach this copy make sure you create your own copy don't don't use it the way it is you just create your own copy and um, save it you can change here and probably write your name and as you learn you go changing um this specific part whether you now are good at good at it or you 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 need to improve if you don't know something you can always um you know go back and learn until you're sure and you know how to go about it so this as a va those are the things that you need to know when it comes to google calendar for this specific lesson i think that is more than enough for a day i hope you guys go and practice and as you wait for the next le lesson on google drive and google docs and probably on google sheets and then depending on how big and volume volume as it's going to be i'm going to divide them so that i give you a, as much information as you need and one more thing practice makes perfect so go back to your calendar if it's as empty as this one should do anything that you would want to do that week so that now you have an idea of what and what you need to know go back to google worksheet and make sure that you have you are 100% sure of on how you're supposed to do these things because those are the things that you'll be doing for your clients as a VA. And yes guys, that is it for this video. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I will appreciate the support. Thank you for tuning in to Sapi Dr. Amboigishigi. Until next time, take care and goodbye.